Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a first look at the Amazfit Smart Scale. This is a sub $50 digital scale that can share information and save it onto your app uh, within your smartphone, which is pretty neat. You can track things like your weight. It can even detect things like your standing heart rate. So there's a heart rate monitor built on in, very interesting, as well as detect other things like your body mass, your muscle mass, things like that. And as a smart scale, it can even recognize the person that's standing on it if you set it up for a family will be then saved onto their profile. It has a small OLED display as well to show you some basic info and uh, you can take a look at it in a glance. There's even baby weighing so basically what this does is you can stand with a baby in your arms and it will just subtract your weight from the combined weight to know how much the baby weighs. Muscle mass, body water percentage, bone mass can all be tracked on here. The Bluetooth version is also using Bluetooth 5.0 so we have just the scale itself and underneath that we have simply the quick user guide and that is pretty much it sliding the plastic here off of the scale and once again first impressions is it's indeed very beautiful as far as scales are concerned this gradient finish just reminds you of a smartphone changes colors depending on how you point it at different light sources from a bluish to a more purple turquoise on the top and looks really sleek it's constructed out of glass although one thing i will say though is it does seem to be quite a fingerprint magnet so you do have to kind of clean it off uh, regularly to keep it looking shiny and clean but otherwise all the contacts in terms of the measurements are just hidden cleverly underneath so nothing is protruding or coming out aside from a metallic amazfit logo as well as the OLED screen, which is hidden underneath this darkened glass. The frame of the weight is being constructed out of plastic, and here's what it looks like on the base. So the feet here is also coated in soft touch rubber that prevents it from sliding around on a hard surface. And it also has a slight kind of depression to it, which is probably how it is able to measure certain elements of the weight and whatnot. And we have some simple specs printed on the base here, as well as the compartment for the battery. Uh, so yes, this does take triple A batteries. You do need to pop in your own in order to start using this scale. It should be fairly energy efficient in the sense that four batteries will last you for around a year before you need to change them out again or you can always use rechargeable AAA batteries but it would have been nice if they had built in a rechargeable battery in the first place and then just charged up uh, by using maybe a USB Type-C port but I suppose that's one thing that they did to keep the cost lower here. And a slight jump cut as the scale here is turning on because we have to move it onto a hard surface in order to get a proper measurement of weight. We can't put the scale onto carpet, for example, that will prevent the sensors from working correctly. So moving into the slightly different room and the screen will go back to sleep after a few seconds of inactivity. We can jump over to the companion app which is called Zep. It's the same one that we see for binding their smartwatches and the pairing process is really simple. I'm going to just stand onto the scale right here. You can see here that it's actually detected that we are indeed trying to communicate with this scale in front of us and we can customize the scale by setting an avatar for the profile image that we want to uh, pair it as. For example if we save it to this, tap on next it will tell us to enter a body analysis mode for activating the features whether we want to use in the general mode or an athlete mode folks that are doing more exercise as well as workouts looks like previously it was connected actually using bluetooth automatically but we still have to enter the wi-fi info so if we tap on configure now and it supports 2.4 g wi-fi bands the smart scale here is connected and we can also take a look at other things like the display settings essentially it's all the features that the scale can measure but whether you want to hide them or show them in the display of the scale itself so for example the weight the weight trend body fat ratio the heart rate i can also rearrange the order of these uh, which they appear on the display Display. and also some of these hidden ones if I want to take a look at my water percentage in my body I can also unhide it so that all of these ones above will be shown on the screen some of these other ones include the aforementioned protein percentage visceral fat grade skeletal muscle body age BMI we can tap on the member management and from here we can add additional uh, members from here so tap on the add key down below there and you're able to kind of enter their name their gender choose a different avatar for them so it's able to track I guess up to nine different people people and recognize between these nine different people as well as a quick tutorial on how to get the best result. 
If the scale isn't able to automatically recognize your identity, you can also tap on it to cycle through the different profiles yourself to get the correct measurement and then saving it to your profile versus someone else's if two people are very close together, for example. So for some of these features like scheduling, it's not specific to this scale, but rather for their other products. However, we now see the addition of some other features which have been activated that we can use the scale for, include the weight holding baby. This is the baby weight function. There's also a guest mode if you want to ask someone who's not frequently in the house to measure their weight occasionally. On the final tab here, we can simply see our uh, other data and statistics as it's refreshed. That includes things from the smartwatch for your health, your heart rate, but more importantly, the weight information has now also been populated on the app. And by the way, after standing on the weight, on the application it will also automatically start up and transfer over the weight analysis in real time. Now it is worth mentioning that if you want to activate some of the other features like the heart rate measurement, you do have to take off your socks so that it has a contact with your feet, uh, with your skin, in order to get an accurate result. So for some of these other modes, you can see if you have it turned on, after getting the weight, it will proceed into the other uh, measurements, and you can also see that happening in action on the app as well. So again, you have to remove any socks or shoes for that to happen and also other things as well require you to be touching it with your skin it turns off after a few seconds after getting all the testing to save on battery power and when you first step on it, it also tells you the name of the person that's being measured it said osr shorthand for os reviews that was the profile that's been saved too Here's our resting heart rate, and it also tells you kind of where it should sit between. Of course, this isn't a continuous heart rate monitor, so for this particular feature, I don't think it's going to be as useful as maybe the smartwatch that we already wear on our wrist, as well as other metrics from the measurement can also be viewed, things like our BMI, our body fat percentage, water, if it's normal, if it's too low, if it's uh, reached a certain threshold, it will also alert us and tell us our changes over time statistics with other people in the population and there's actually a kind of grid chart that also shows you where you should be in terms of your body fat ratio and your muscle ratio otherwise the accuracy of the scale seems to be decent of course you'll see a bit of fluctuation here and there depending on if you're putting the scale on a flat surface or not and uh, if you are kind of measuring yourself after eating things like that but compared to other scales uh, especially within this budget price range i would say it's fair or some of the other more niche measurements things like body fat percentage as well as a maybe skeletal mass, those are more estimated using an algorithm, so you can't expect perfect medical grade precision and accuracy there, but overall gives you a good estimation and offers an interesting data, I would say, that otherwise you wouldn't be able to see, especially in other scales at this price range. So that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on look at the Amazfit Smart Scale. Overall, for the sub-$50 price, I am pretty impressed in terms of how it looks very beautiful, constructed out of this gradient finished glass, a great value overall. You can check out more details if you're interested in getting a smart scale or just a regular scale that has some connected features in the links below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.